What's good YouTube? Your boy Malik's back on your screen with another tip for your YouTube channel. So you want to know how to start a successful YouTube channel? You came to the right place. Let's get into it. Pick your niche. YouTube is full of videos for all kinds of topics. Your channel will do better if you pick a niche for a particular segment of people. Whatever you select as your niche has to be a topic that you know about and enjoy making videos about. If you make videos for something that you don't know about or aren't good at, people will see right through you like a Rihanna dress at the CFDA Awards. Google it. Be a social butterfly. Create social media pages on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter for your YouTube channel. When you upload videos to YouTube, share them on your connected social media sites. Be sure to create engaging posts on your social media sites once or twice a week to keep fans in the loop on what you're doing and find new fans that are interested in your niche. Get your forum on, get your forum on, get your forum on, get your forum on. Look for online forums and social media pages that focus on your niche Sign up for them and get to posting. You need to become part of the community for the niche you selected. Post topics, answer questions, and share your videos on the forum or social media page. This will help you build your credibility and gain more followers in your niche. Get some decent equipment. If you're just starting your channel, you need some decent equipment. Start off with a decent camera that takes video or a camcorder that's capable of creating HD video. Get yourself a decent tripod and you're ready to go. You don't need to run out and spend your whole paycheck on this stuff at first. As you start to make money, start investing in better gear. Grab a better camera, some lights, and a microphone. If you start off small and decide to stop making video for some reason, you won't have to avoid buyer's remorse by selling all your stuff on eBay. Planning is essential. You have to plan your videos. Jumping up, pushing the record button, and just talking is a recipe for disaster. Select the locations where your video will be shot. Think about the shots you want, what you want to say to your audience, and anything else you think is important. Write a script for your video so you know exactly what you want to say. There are plenty of screenwriting apps and teleprompter apps you can use for iPads and Android tablets. Don't worry, be happy! When you're ready to start recording, you should always be at your best. You should be in a good mood and ready to have some fun. When you're not at your best, people can see it. It'll bring them down and make them choose something else to watch. When you're feeling good, having fun, and at the top of your game, your viewers will be engaged and ready to have a good time right along with you. Be consistent. Just like you can count on your favorite TV show airing the same night every week, you need to create a consistent schedule for uploading your videos. Pick a day of the week, or a few days of the week, that you're going to upload videos and stick to uploading on those days. This way, your subscribers will know when to look for your next video and tune in. This is a great way to create loyal fans of your channel. If you tag it, they will come. If you want your videos to be seen, you have to make them as visible as possible. This means that you have to create proper titles, a meaningful description, and accurate keywords. Your video title should accurately identify the main concept of your video. The description should include information on the content of the video. The keywords should include words from the description, title, and any other words that truly are related to the video content. If you upload videos with inaccurate titles, insufficient descriptions, and fake keywords, you might as well place your video on a deserted island and pray to the video gods for someone to find it. The hearing impaired watch videos too. Creating captions for your videos is a great way to reach a wider audience. When you add captions to your videos, you allow the hearing impaired to watch your content and you allow people who speak different languages to watch them as well. When you add captions to your videos, people who speak different languages can activate the captions and change the language to one that they can read. 
This opens up the possibility of your videos reaching a wider audience. If you click on the CC button under this video, you'll get a taste of what I'm talking about. Go ahead, click on it. No, really, click it. <laughs> music with no worries. If you're gonna include music in your videos, make sure it's royalty free. This is music that can be used without having to pay royalties to the artist. Usually you pay a one-time fee and you can use it however you like. There are also some sites that provide royalty-free music for free. You can usually prove you have the rights to use it by providing a link to the end user license agreement to YouTube. Once you're a YouTube partner, you'll have access to the YouTube music library, which you can use on your videos as well. Collaborate, collaborate, collaborate. Collaborating with other YouTubers is a great way to get noticed by a wider audience. Treat other YouTubers as your peers and don't act like a crazed fan when you interact with one of them. Oh my God, Justin, I just love you so much. You are my like favorite YouTuber. Can we make a collaboration video together? Epic fail. Engage in regular conversations by leaving comments on videos with YouTubers who you're interested in collaborating with. Build a real relationship. Once you feel you're close enough to ask to create a collab video, go for it. You can also sign up for sites like YT Talk and follow Facebook pages like San Antonio YouTubers to find people in your niche to create collaboration videos with. That's it, YouTubers. Now that you have the info to start a successful YouTube channel, get out there and put in some work. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, guys. You know the routine, subscribe now. And don't forget to like our Facebook page. We'll see you out and about in Santana.